What's up my fellow gamers? Thank you so much for watching another video. I wanted to cover Operation 4. There's a lot, a lot of changes, unlike any of the previous operations. Um, yeah, the game's been completely revamped. There are incredible things, like um, every player in the game or every character can buy every single weapon, as you see here. And every character in the game can buy every fortification. So if you're playing with a Kate or a Lani, as you saw in my previous video, where scouts cannot build fortifications, not the case anymore. Everyone um, can build and buy everything. So one cool thing is if you are in the middle of an expression now, you can actually exit it just by flicking the thumbstick in one direction or another, or by, um, like I said, jumping around or taking cover or something else. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if anyone else was dumb while in gameplay and doing an expression in the middle of a wave, and uh, then you started getting meleeed by a drone with a claw, and that really sucked. So that's one pretty awesome improvement there. Uh, the other is that now every character can not only buy fortifications, but you can upgrade them. This was awesome because in the previous uh, operations, you could buy certain fortifications with certain characters, but you didn't have the option to upgrade them in any way. So now you don't have to wait for your engineer to do it. You can go do it yourself. So moving on to the escape update. Um, if you haven't played it, it's pretty fun. Three-person team, you, well, you have to escape. And um, you start off with a pistol, and then you go finding your weapons. But one of the biggest updates in this was that you can now use any character. So Operation 3 and 2 and 1, you were restricted to about five characters. And, um, yeah, they did away with that, so you can use anyone, I believe, except for Dom. They have not unlocked Dom yet. So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's a good update for Escape. The other major update was on how to upgrade your character. This part is pretty cool, but you do have to be careful. Um, so, as you probably noticed, they did away with the scrap, and they converted all scrap is a 1 to 1 1.2 um, gears coins so if you had you know 100 scrap you get 120 gears coins and they give you a thousand uh, gears coins for each unlockable character that you successfully completed the objectives for and unlocked so that's pretty cool um, but yeah for the cards you still get cards after horde or any of the matches but you can now upgrade those cards without having duplicates so you have to be careful because they could show that they're ready to upgrade even though you don't have the um, correct amount of duplicates but if you really 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 want that purple or that gold card upgraded well now you can using gears coins so now that I uh, covered the gears coins uh, how do you use them? Well, it's pretty simple. The store has been revamped and it looks pretty awesome. You can um, buy skins, you can buy uh, weapon skins, you can buy expressions, blood splatters, all that good stuff. And um, it all is uh, purchasable with gear coins. So you still have a few things in... Um, like the EA Sports or the bundles that you can use cash, but for all of character related upgrades, you can use either iron or uh, gears coins. The really cool thing about this is if you want to unlock a character, let's say a Baird, um, and you purchase any of his skins, then he becomes unlocked for you. So there is no more objectives and um, totems and all that stuff. For example, if you buy the Mechanic Baird, it doesn't unlock the rest of the skins. It's only that one, and then you can use your character. Um, that's really cool. My personal suggestion at this point in time, I know it only came out a couple days ago, I wouldn't use the 2000 required for Paddock 
or the 2000 required for DOM. Um, so DOM is only usable in verses. You can't use them in Horde or Escape. And Paddock, you will unlock a skin once you reach uh, Private 5. So not too far into the game and um, yeah you'll unlock them for free so that's up to you completely um, you can see the vast majority of the rewards for ranking up uh, is gears coins as it should be they do have a few like you just saw the dom skin uh, commando dom um, and there's some uh, special edition uh, weapon skins but for the most part, they've done a good job of making sure that since the standard currency is Gears Coins, they give you Gears Coins for basically everything. So yeah, that's really the main update. I just wanted to flash this. I know I did it on the last video. Um, the fortification cost for each character. You can see for all the engineers, it's still cheaper for them to do it. So if you want to continue contributing to the fabricator and letting your engineer buy stuff uh, it'll save you in the long run but um, if not you can you can do it yourself um, there were some updates on specific characters and uh, certain horde things like the taps so you'll notice the taps are actually a lot faster to capture and to collect from so those are two pretty good things um, that are saving some time between waves there was also some character updates. Um, you know, I, I think JD's loadout changes, so he doesn't have a Nasher anymore, but he does have a Lancer. And yeah, there's some other minor tweaks to characters' ultimates or additional cards, stuff like that, that you'll get familiar with as you play. But I just want to thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope it helped. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one.